Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tasting Tuesday. Hope everyone is doing well this beautiful morning. It's June 2nd, 2020, and I just think it's another beautiful day for us. It's just a hunker down and make some coffee. So I hope everybody's doing great and just want to let you know, yes, this is again another pre-recorded Tasting Tuesday. At this time that you're probably viewing it, I'm again either in transit right now, heading up uh, to um, the airport right now, getting ready to go fly. I got a chance to fly uh, yesterday and it was an absolutely just beautiful day uh, uh, as far as just the weather and the um, just the, 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 the warmth, the sun. I mean, it was just such a beautiful day yesterday. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a beautiful uh, flight just seeing, you know, just clouds reflecting off the water, everything like that. It was a great, uh, it was just a kind of like a calming sense uh, of, a, of a summer that is definitely going to be uh, unforgettable this year. And um, I just hope that everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is staying safe again. Uh, be safe, stay healthy, but most importantly, guys, we just definitely have to live our lives right now. So today we're going to be doing an interesting combination with our tasting today. We're actually going to be using um, a coffee that I don't really use that much, but we have used during our past tastings before. And um, I got a chance to see you guys, uh, I got a chance to put on the Instagram, uh, one of my Instagram stories, I got to put together a poll. And on this poll, it was basically saying whether you preferred wanting to see some uh, medium roast or would you rather see uh, some more dark roast. And the winner was the medium roast. So we're going to be working with our medium roast this week. And our choice is going to be our organic Yukon blend. So let me get show you guys what that looks like with the little bear on it. It is a medium blend. It is actually really good ethically sourced uh, Arabica bean coffee. And I'll just give you a brief overview because the Yukon blend is something really special uh, to Starbucks um, as far as um, it is the only label to be, uh, that has, is the only coffee to be certified organic. And yes, I know you sometimes see a lot of uh, products with a lot of uh, things that say organic on them, but this is a truly uh, serious organic product here. And I'll just read the story real quick. Named after the North American wilderness, Organic Yukon Blend is a bold coffee for the adventurous at heart. Lively, acidity, and deep, earthly notes meld together with this classic blend. When you taste it, you get the balance and liveliness of Latin American coffees, along with the heft and lingering herbal spiciness from Sumatra beans. Hardy, rugged, and untamed, simply a great coffee. And this truly is a great coffee. It's an underappreciated coffee that uh, a lot of um, customers kind of maybe just overlook or don't even see uh, with uh, the uh, numerous amounts of other medium roasts that um, are in the store. But what's gonna be special about this, we're just gonna make a simple um, French press using this today, but we're gonna combine it with something, a food item. Yes, we're gonna be cooking again today, so I got the grill going. We're gonna be combining it with one of my favorite food items of all time. So, let's get started, guys. I'm gonna move you guys over, bring you guys over here to station two. So, let me move this out of the way. We've got the coffee going, um, or we've got the water uh, heating up right now. So, yep, definitely heating up. Making sure that's on the boil, letting that vibe on the side real quick. So, um, like I said, we're gonna be working with just a regular French press today. So just make sure you have your French press. I'm gonna use my white one here. Still gotta clean so many dishes today, man. It's been kind of crazy. This week has been nuts for me so far. Um, but this is definitely a good coffee to get you going in the morning. Um, it is a very, it's definitely like the label it says, it's definitely a very earthly coffee. You definitely taste a lot of uh, the herbal notes in the coffee, but it actually really is a delicious coffee. And it's not too bold. I mean, it has a bold flavor, but it's not overbearing. Um, it's one of the things I enjoy about the Yukon blend. And I think the bag is designed too. It's got a cool little bear on there, a ferocious bear. But like I said, um, uh, what's going to be interesting about this tasting is that we're going to be combining it with a food item that is one of my favorite of all time. And that's going to be a weird one, you guys. It's going to be coffee and pizza. 
Yeah, I said it. We're combining coffee with pizza. Now, if you guys don't realize or don't know, Starbucks actually in the their grocery stores in um, certain major cities like New York, Los Angeles, uh, Chicago, even overseas in Hong Kong, um, they have uh, places where the, 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 they sell um, salads as well as pizza. Starbucks has its own bakery or bakery and then they have their own um, basically artesian pizza that they do. And one of the things that I was actually trying to do uh, about a year ago was to try to see if we could get um, a Starbucks, uh, preferably the closest one would be the New York location, and and see if they could send us a, um, a Starbucks pizza. Now, that kind of went unsuccessful because it was just the priority of the shipping and how they make their pizzas because they actually have special special certified chefs that actually make the pizza at the place and deliver it or uh, make it in front of you and then they serve it to you so they want to preserve the quality and everything and make sure it's nice and hot so getting it from new york to you know to us would be a, just a little bit you know much of a challenge so instead i said okay all right well i got the chance to talk to a guy the concierge he was a really nice dude um, it was the store um, in New York. I remember. I think it was on. I think it was on Fifth Avenue. I think I can't remember. Uh, but if you look at the location where the um, it's, it, I know it's deep in the city. It was. Uh, it was a Starbucks roastery store. It's one of the biggest ones. I know some of our uh, customers have actually been to a Starbucks roastery store where they actually have like four levels where you do tastings. There's a gift shop. There's those massive silos for the coffee. Um, I mean, it is just an absolute beautiful store. I mean, it's it's almost like a factory in its own, but then it's also like, kind of like you get a guided tour and stuff like that. It's really, really fantastic. And you get to also try some nice, delicious alcoholic beverages there too, which we've been tapping into as well. But today, like I said, for this special tasting, we're gonna combine this medium roast with pizza. And just to do something real quick, we're just gonna do a real poor man's pizza here. Just something really, really, really simple today so while we're letting that go we're gonna get our coffee started get our coffee going and I've already got some I've already got some uh, of the Yukon already blended there so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in not do anything too crazy today we're just gonna have a nice sample of coffee but we're just gonna pair it with something really good today so we got that going, our water is boiling. Now as our water is boiling, we can go ahead and get the ingredients that we're gonna need for our little pizza. Now, what you're gonna need is just some sourdough bread. This is the bread that I'm using, but you can use any kind of bread. And I know if um, you're using any specialty kind of bread, you can make this pizza however you like. Um, I've even used bagels for this meal. I actually have made this, uh, this combination before I tested it out and it turned out to be really, really good. So, um, with this coffee. And the reason why that coffee works with this pizza, and you can use pretty much a good, any kind of medium roast. You'd be really surprised some of the combinations of uh, things that go with coffee really well that you probably wouldn't think of. And when I saw, came upon researching doing pizza, I was like, pizza, really? And I was just realized, oh, well, wait, we serve cheese danishes and stuff like that. Well, you got the cheeses. Um, even the blend of the sauce with the tomato, we have the tomato blended in with the, uh, I mean, if you think about the tomato mozzarella panini that we sell, people drink that coffee with that. Granted, it might be a sweeter coffee or a, even a tea or a refresher, but even still. Um, so I just thought, I was like, oh, that's not that far-fetched for us to have coffee and pizza together because you're mixing in so many different things. You're mixing in the, the cheese flavors, the tomatoes, the herbal tomatoes, and then you're also mixing in um, uh, the breads or the doughy or the, or the, 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 the pastry part of, or the bakery part of the, uh, of the, uh, of, the um, of the meal and then just combining it with some medium roast coffee. And I didn't want to use anything too bold for this, you can use a bold coffee. I mean, if that's your preference, I chose to use a medium roast because I think it's just easier on your palate. Um, and particularly, uh, this one does already have a nice little boldness to it without being too overbearing. So that's why we're using the Yukon blend with this combination today. 
So while we're letting the water go there, it's, it's going right there. Remember, we've got our Yukon blend for this week. We might use it again next week. Who knows? Uh, might have a different combination for you next week. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. We've got, let's get some sourdough bread. I'm gonna get some sourdough bread here. It's gonna be really simple, really good. And I'm gonna use my convection oven. We're gonna use that and we're gonna put that on for maybe about just a couple minutes. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy here. But I hope everybody's doing well this morning. So we got our piece of sourdough bread. I'm gonna lay that flat there. Got some pizza sauce here, and then you can use any kind of pizza sauce that you prefer. I'm just using just a regular pizza sauce I found here at the store. Get a spoon here, a nice clean spoon. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Got our spoon. And get some pizza sauce in there. So, go ahead and mix that on there. Uh-oh, I hear that water boiling. It's looking good, loving it. And I hope everybody is doing well. I know we're still under our quarantine advice and the country's going to hell, but definitely have to learn to look at the silver lining to a lot of things and just kind of take a step back and just remember the finer things and know things are crazy right now. I always tell people it's almost feels like we're in the 60s in HD in some ways. Our water's ready. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna let that vibe on the side for a minute as we're still finishing this. So the next thing is, so we've just had, we again, I have some sourdough bread. I've got some uh, tomato sauce here. And the next thing I'm gonna actually do, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of garlic on here. So garlic powder, just add a little bit of garlic powder. And these are very simple ingredients that you can do at home. So I'm gonna just add just a little bit of garlic powder. And then I like to layer my pizzas a little bit, but uh, for the purposes of demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna make it nice and simple. Um, I'm gonna grab some mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna grab some of that and grab some here. Got some delicious mozzarella, mozzarella cheese here. Just put a layer of that on there. There we go. So we got a nice little slice of mozzarella cheese. Just gonna cut that or just rip that into this half there, place that there. Then I'm actually gonna layer this with some pepper. So we're gonna take some pepper, some black pepper. Put that on. Then I'm gonna get, use some delicious turkey pepperoni, turkey pepperoni, not the regular pepperoni that you get. Um, just some nice, delicious turkey pepperoni. I'm trying to fool myself into thinking it's healthier. <laughs> and I'm just gonna layer that on there. I'm just gonna put about, and we're gonna put about a couple more. I am gonna have fun with this today. So I'm gonna put about five of those on there, and then I'm gonna layer it again with some tomato sauce. Yeah, I want mine's nice and saucy. But this isn't really, when you really think about it, isn't like tomato, or sorry, uh, coffee with pizza. It's not really that far-fetched of an idea. Uh, the, the, the ingredients, again, they combine really well so, I mean, hell, I mean, this is a, I think this is a damn good combination myself. Also a good excuse to have pizza in the morning. All right. I hope right now, whatever time that you guys are watching this, I hope that you're having a great productive day. I hope that sun is shining on you and just getting things done that you need to get done. And, you know, just uh, being safe out there, being safe. Most important, because we do know what's going on in the world right now. And it is definitely, definitely a crazy time right now. Can't definitely overlook that. It's funny, we were talking about at work uh, yesterday, we were talking about, God, man, when the history books look at this, man, I'm talking about when I have kids one day, whoo, when they get up to 2020, I'm like, Dad, um, why is 
chapter or the, the why is 2020's chapter so long? I'm just like, son, daughter, <laughs> you've only gotten to uh, February. You haven't even gotten to half the year yet. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be really interesting to see what their outtake outlook is going to be on that. So I'm going to sprinkle this with some more pepper. So what I've done here, very something really simple, I've just layered a piece of sourdough, and I, I like sourdough bread because I just like the crunchiness of it, especially when it's uh, cooked. I just basically took some sourdough bread, I took a tomato sauce, then I put a layer of mozzarella cheese, or actually a mozzarella, um, did I do two layers? Oh no, I put a, a layer of um, a turkey uh, pepperoni, then I put mozzarella cheese. Then I put another layer of turkey pepperoni here. I, I really want this to be really good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that in the convection oven. So we're gonna bring that over. Set that over in the convection oven here. I'm bring you guys in the oven so you guys can see. Bam. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? So we're gonna set that in the oven. Set that right there. Good, definitely wanna get my phone out of there because I do not want it. There we go. All right. I accidentally hit that button there. There we go. So we're gonna get that going. We're gonna set that timer. Setting our timer here. I've set it for 450 degrees and just gonna cook it for about six minutes. Just for the sake of time, basically, okay? So we got that going right now. We've got our um we've got that going with our uh coffee and we'll just get that going let's see here or with our pizza so we're just gonna mix in using the french press again something really simple today and since we're just doing just one just gonna fill it halfway up let that vibe on this side right there push that down and we're gonna set our timer for four minutes you guessed it we always use our four minute time there we go. So we got our four minute timer going. And we've got five minutes on the pizza there. So I don't know, guys. You guys just got to tell me. We're going to let that vibe right there. Like I said, we're using our Yukon blend today. So it's getting here. This will get a little clean up here. But you guys have to tell me what you guys been up to. I hope that you guys are all doing well. I know. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying just, uh, like I said, I, I'm. I'm you know, we haven't been doing the live feeds as uh, recently only because just, again, scheduling, um, getting right back into the process of just flying planes and stuff. And flying planes is a lot of work, man. It's definitely a lot of prep work, a lot of priority. So, you know, I got to make sure that everything is 100%. That's why I think having these, doing these pre-recorded are far better. Uh, and just uh, out of for my safety and for anyone else's safety. Um, I just think, uh, you know, just making sure to do these beforehand instead of having to do the live stream and then rush to get down to the airport, you know, I think that's just the, the better, it's, it's effective for me and I think it's even cooler for you because you guys get to watch it. Um, but it's kind of been great to be archiving all this stuff on Instagram TV. I really hope you guys have saw it and we kind of hit a milestone. I noticed that we, um, when I first uploaded our uh, Extraordinary um, video, um on instagram tv which you can watch right now uh we hit like at least over i forget how many views we had but i know we hit about 222 is the last count i saw i mean i mean i know it's small but hey it's something that's 222 eyeballs that have been able to see that was episode one and currently we are, you know like i said we're in production with the rest of the uh, other episodes right now obviously things are on hold right now just with everything going on but um no, it was really impressive when we put the 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 basically the first episode that's archived of uh, Tasting Tuesday that we did last week with the Komodo Dragon. Uh, I was really really impressed with what we did, man. Um, the numbers went and shot up beyond what I thought. Uh, we literally had about I think about a hundred over one hundred and fifty views. So that was pretty impressive, man. I was really impressed with that. I really liked that, man. I was just like, holy god, man, that's great. So. 
Um, and that was also the pre-recorded one they did uh, last week. So that, that was really impressive. I just want to say thank you guys, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, I know things are nuts right now, but I can't thank you guys enough for taking at least like these like 20, 30 minutes out of your day just to say hello, keep some semblance of, of, of normalcy going on uh, with our tasting, man. So uh, this has been absolutely phenomenal. I've been really, really happy with that. Uh, got about another minute there. Um, hope everybody's watching. I uh, don't know if you guys know, but HBO Max just recently came out. If you guys do have an HBO subscription or you have like HBO now, I'm sure that you have, um, I think there's a way that you can link it. Um, but uh, there's been some cool stuff on there. A lot of the Studio Ghibli movies that I have recommended before are actually on there right now. So you can actually check those out. It's pretty cool. Um, and so like I said, give those a shot. But uh, it's been really, really fun. Um... Just uh, checking out the, the selection that they have. It's interesting, though, because a lot of the stuff that they have is already on HBO Go. So it's kind of like, what do you kind of need this app for? Why do we just combine it and put it into one app? I don't know, man. The streaming wars are getting real crazy, especially now. Um, so I don't know. If uh, You guys have to tell me what you guys are watching. And by the way, oh my goodness, I have to admit something, guys. I have seen all 10 of episodes of Outer Banks, and I gotta say, I absolutely, it's not a show that I thought, me personally, that I would get into. Man, that show is damn good. I mean, it is really, really good. Coffee's ready there. And I gotta say, man, um, I was really impressed. I mean, it's, it's again, it's not a typical show that I thought I would like, but so many of you guys recommended it to me. And I binged it. I binged it over the course of two days. So I was able to watch the first half one day and then the next half the other. And I got to say, I, I think there's a, there's a psychological reason why that show worked. And particularly for me is the summer vibes it gives off. First off, I love the, just the whole summer vibes the show gives off. Uh, I love be the beaches and stuff. And right now everyone's kind of, you know, going there again. If you're going to a beach, just be safe. Man, you're saying your social distance. But, um... It's been, um, we're just going to go ahead and plunge this down, guys, while we're talking here. But the show has been really good. I love the characters. I think the, uh, the, the fact that the show kind of, with the language and stuff like that, I think is great. I mean, I, I mean, it kind of reminds me of like an R-rated Goonies. I mean, there's kind of some crazy stuff going on in the show. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're a younger viewer, definitely get your uh, parents' permission to watch it first. I mean, but it's definitely geared towards... Um, uh, I would say a young adult and older uh, crowd because it definitely has got a lot of cool stuff but it's a really good show I really enjoyed it love the characters and like I said this is Outer Banks on Netflix very very good show alright so we've got two things ready at the same time this is perfect nice synchronicity right there but we're going to just get a nice little coffee mug right here just get some coffee and I think I'm going to use yeah my airplane mug again since like I said by the time you guys see this recording I will definitely be in route heading to the airport and again we're just using our Yukon blend just gonna pour a little there it's got some Yukon blend right there BAM give this a nice little taste it smells so good. It definitely, definitely smell those notes, man. Those earthly notes. Let's give that a taste. So again, guys, happy tasting Tuesday and salute. Mmm. Real good. Oh my gosh. That's really good. That definitely will wake you up. definitely smooth and it's definitely gonna go the combination of this uh, the notes with this the uh, the earthly notes it's real smooth but it definitely is gonna combine with the cheese is really nice and speaking of let's go ahead and get our pizza let me get a spatula here so that we can get our pizza going Spatula. And 
Bingo, bango, look at that bad boy. OMG. Combine that with some coffee and it's gonna look good. That's gonna taste good. I already know that that's gonna taste good. Oh my goodness. So like I said, this is not really, I mean, as unorthodox as this might look, um, it's actually not that weird when you really think about it. Combining pizza with coffee is not that bad. And like I said, I think it's just going to be the, the, the mixture of the flavors uh, that you're getting from the tomato sauce, whatever sauce that you're using, marinara sauce. Um, and then you're also getting the combinations with the cheese and the bread. I think it's going to turn out really, really, really well. But for the purposes of this time and everything like that, um, I think that this is a, a, a great combination for you to start your day. Uh, this is, makes a great snack, a uh, great kind of in-between breakfast, if you've already had breakfast, uh, but in-between breakfast and uh, lunch or brunch, whatever. And um, Or this is make a good afternoon pick-me-up snack because you get a nice, good uh, little snack and... Um, a nice little cheesy snack with some a pick me up with the coffee that's not too overbearing and you got yourself a nice little combo there so today like i said i hope you guys have enjoyed this tasting um again uh, uh pizza and coffee and we'll definitely be doing more different combinations than that in the future um we definitely be doing another tasting next week and i think that'll be june 9th that we do another tasting yeah so uh, we also have some other special plans uh, planned in the next coming weeks for our, our virtual tastings. Um, just like I said, right now, even though the cafe is closed and the patio areas are closed, the coffee must flow, guys. So we're just going to continue on with that. But um, like I said, I have some, some other awesome plans and some awesome great ideas that we have for upcoming tastings. Um, it definitely we will get to the live tasting or live stream tastings again, um, which will be at 1130. But like I said, as of this recording, um, you guys will be seeing this. Um, you can guys will watch this at any time. But this will definitely be available right now on Tuesday, June 2nd. So today. So again, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed your day today. Here, let me turn that show the little airplane. I love this thing. I love this cup. This is one of my favorite cups. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed your tasting today. Again, nice pizza, Yukon blend. And I'll see you guys next week on our Virtual Tasting Tuesday. Take care, guys.